So we back, we back. We back in ATL. Or should I say Georgia? We got a wild one, y'all. We got this um young lady who shot her mother and kidnapped her own children. When I mean this bitch is hard, this is the hardest bitch out. They don't make them hard like this bitch. If a hard bitch was a, if a hard if a hard body gangster bitch was a person, she fits every criteria, every measure, every single measure. Okay, let's get to the story real fast. Just real fast, it won't take long. All right, we're going to get to this shit. Okay, well, a woman who shot Georgia mother multiple times kidnapped six-week-old twin sons sentenced. In Chatham County, Georgia, a woman who was convicted of shooting a woman. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Am I bugging? Did I read that right? Yeah, no, yeah, I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. I thought that was bugging for me. Chatham County, Georgia, a woman who was convicted of shooting a woman and kidnapping her six-week-old twin sons has been sentenced. According to the court documents, Angela Montgomery, 25... <clears throat> According to the documents, Angela Montgomery, 25, of Rick Rincon... Of Rick Rankin. I guess that's a part of Georgia pleaded guilty but mentally ill this week to all of the charges related to the shooting and kidnapping in 2021. Why the fuck? Anyway, we got the body cam footage. So the body cam footage was just released. This is all right. This is what makes this story relevant because I'm like, what the fuck? According to court documents, Montgomery, I read that already. On May 11, 2021, Savannah police. Oh, okay. Quando Rondo. Savannah police said officers received a, received reports of a person shot at home on Northeast on Northeast 36th Street. When officers arrived, they found 23-year-old Gabrielle Rogers who has been who had been shot. She was taken to the hospital in critical condition. According to the investigation, a woman later identified as Montgomery left the home with Rogers with boys, Mato and Lorenzo. According to the investigation, a woman later identified as Montgomery left the home with Rogers, twin boys. I said that right, right. Police said, police said tips they received helped officers track Montgomery to a home in Effingham County, Effingham County on St. Andrews Road. At 2.30 p.m., SWAT with assistance from the, from the Rinkin Police Department and Effingham County Sheriff's Office took Montgomery into custody. The twins were found at the home at the home un, unharmed, but were taken to the hospital to evaluate as a precaution. That's it. Okie dokie then. Let me see something. Okay. Uh oh. You ain't safe nowhere. I don't know who the fuck this is. 
Fuck it. Let's see what this nigga talking about. All right, this the girl. Let's get a good look at this face. Why do my black queens, every time they catch y'all and you get arrested, your hair look like this? She look young too. What's this? What's this girl's name? They just got her as Georgia mother. What the fuck is her name again? I know. I just okay. This is, I like this one right here. Okay, this is the, this is from the Independent guys. Angela, oh duh, all right. Angela Montgomery, twenty three, faces charges of aggravated murder and assault. This seems like you get more in the debt. And one thing about add to this shit is what the fuck. A woman has been accused of shooting a mother in her home and then fleeing with the victim's newborn twins. According to the Savannah Police Department, Angela Montgomery, 23 at Savannah, Georgia, was arrested on Tuesday afternoon after she allegedly abducted Mato and Lorenzo Rogers, who are six weeks old. An Amber Alert, see, this has got more details. An Amber, <clears throat> an Amber Alert was issued by police after, after Miss Montgomery reportedly shot the twins' mother. Gabrielle Rogers, 23, around 10, 20 a.m. local time, and then left the home with the children in a white sedan. Miss Rogers was found with a critical gunshot wound and was taken to hospital, according to local news station WTGS. Her current condition remains unknown. The twins were recovered safely by police officers and also taken to the hospital to undergo a medical examination. What happened today is every mother's worst nightmare. We are so thankful that Matt, that Matto and Lorenzo <clears throat> were located quickly and were ultimately unharmed, said Savannah Police Department Chief Roy Minter in a statement. This was an all hands on deck approach. Everyone in the Savannah area was looking for this suspect, was looking for this suspect, this suspect, and the twins. Why they didn't say this suspect? I guess this, I don't know, this must be a press conference. The detective in this case worked quickly tracking down every available lead while working with our local, state, and federal partners. But the case would not have been moved as swiftly if it had not also been for the community assistance. SPD, that's, so that's Savannah Police Department, Quando Rondo and Little Tim. And I'm sure the rest of the city hopes to see the children's mother make a full recovery and be reunited with her sons as soon as possible, he added. Police received the tip that Ms. Montgomery was potentially in Effingham County with the twins following the shooting. I was after the incident, police located her and the children in their home in Rickon, Georgia. She was taken into custody on one count of aggravated assault and two counts of kidnapping police there. Police have not released the motive for the crime or more details on what led to the shooting and kidnapping. But guess what? Georgia, oh Georgia, so I don't know if it was the grandmother who, who kidnapped the kids or, or if it was the mother and I just read it, I know, but guess what guys, we have visuals, we have the video cam the video cam we have the um body cam footage of this egregious act that took place in the city of atlanta georgia we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty of these of this shit so they from savannah i wonder if they're related to little timmy and quando rondo
Life is good. Here we go. Magic. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Just weeks after giving birth, this Georgia mother was gunned down in her own home by a woman claiming to be a friend she met online in a mommy group. Instead, the suspect kidnapped her six-week-old twin boys and made a break for it. She kept saying, I'm taking the boys, I'm taking the boys. Body camera video captures it all from the initial emergency response Where she shot? to witness statements. And when I came out, she was right there. She's like, I got shot, I got shot, I got shot. They took my kids, they took my kids. She was and even the family's reaction to the news. What happened to her? What do you mean she was shot? Oh my God. Oh my God. All this before first responders rescue the babies hours after their abduction. What happened to her? What do you mean she was shot? Oh, my God. Oh my God. While the incident happened on May 11, 2021, body camera video was only recently made public. It shows Savannah, Georgia police respond to the scene where 23 year old Gabrielle Rogers had been shot three times. Where's she shot? Oh Witnesses on the scene describe what happened, including the woman who. <coughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Them police was on their motherfucking job, y'all. Straight up. Now they was running to help. First called 911. I was in the house and somebody banged. They didn't ring the doorbell at first. They just mm. started banging, like something like the police. But, right. And I'm like, and I'm trying to get to the door because I'm way down in the den with my youngins. And by that time, I guess she figured to hit the doorbell. So she actually hit the doorbell. Mm. And when I came out, she was right there. She's like, I got shot. I got shot. I got shot. They took my kids. They took my kids. She was just panicking. And so she sat down on my bench for a few minutes. Then she laid back. And then she got up again. And she kept saying, Catherine, Catherine. And I said, you know, because I, I called 911 while I was talking to her. She mm. said, call 911. I'd be shot. I said, where have you been shot? Because I didn't see it at first. She goes, in my ear. And you could see her ear was like whatever. Right. And uh, so I kept talking to her, trying to keep her keep her coherent, because I know I don't want her to pass out on me. Well, obviously, she did pass out before you guys got here. So I don't know anything. I never heard no shots. I, I, she just came to my door, because I guess she don't have a phone over there. The witness How no are the injuries? I think. Yeah. Yeah. She, she says one in the head, no one way, in the chest, no. and then one in the leg. So, and then she walked over this way? She ran. ran. The, blood, the, the scenes inside that house, it looks like it happened right in the front living room. Uh -huh. the, the, um, the car seat is sitting right there. There's blood kind of like all around the car seat. She said that she has kids inside, and she just heard banging and hollering at the door. And she came out. She was collapsed in front. Um, and the kids are gone. Miraculously, Rogers is able to communicate with first responders, despite her multiple gunshot wounds. The suspect, Hold on a second. Hold on a second, suspect is a Kathleen Daniels, black female. This is straight from the victim. She's talking. Kathleen Daniels, she's black female and works at Memorial Hospital. Came here, supposedly she met her in a mama's, mommy's group, and she was bringing her formula. Uh -huh. And... Then next thing she knows, this is what a friend over there said, that she was meeting this lady up from uh, on a, mo a mommy's group, bringing her formula. Next thing she knows, she came um, home, the friend came here, and there's blood everywhere. And uh, But it's coming from the victim, Kathleen Daniels, black female, works at Memorial Hospital. She's the one that shot her and took the kids. She lives in Poland. Did you get all that? But she don't know what vehicle she was driving. Okay. She didn't see. Rogers tells first responders she met the suspect, Kathleen Yo. Daniels, on a mommy's group online. Oh, look at this bitch. This, look at this nutcase kidnapping bitch. Now, I wonder, now let's dog this hoe. I couldn't wait to dog a motherfucker, yo. This bitch hair is so fucked up. You look at the bitch hair, y'all. How dare she kidnap kids and scare them little children with hair? fucked up like that. Look at her baby hairs, y'all. That shit brushed every way but the right way. That shit look like a dust mop on the top of her motherfucking head. Soon, investigators begin the search for the boys, six-week-old Mateo and Lorenzo. What do we care about? Well, the victim, Finding obviously. the children. Correct. 
the victim is here is being treated. We care about finding the kids. All right, well, let's go I then. See. I got a photo. See if we can get he with a... Uh, they're at EMS. They're, I guess they let's go, the Savannah Police. Meanwhile, let's go. Let's go. Find the children. Let's go. Rogers is loaded into an ambulance before she's rushed to the hospital. Fight, girl. Fight. fight. We are currently inbound a 23-year-old female. She's got one hole to the... Right temple. Patient is conscious and alert and answers questions appropriately. GCS of 15. Um, actually, a GCS of 13. Um, she's got one hole to the left or the right temple. She's got one to left breast. Um, she tried to kill just her. Just inferior Duh. and lateral to the um, nipple. And she's got one to upper thigh, right thigh. She's probably only about maybe four inches from the crease of a leg. The patient is answering questions. Um, I have a date of birth. I don't have a whole lot of information. A tourniquet was applied to the right leg prior to EMS arrival. Current heart rate is 117. She shows signs on the monitor. OG Patrick 97. She is on 15 liter um, non rebreather. And she's got a BP of 125 over 82. I did get an 18 in the right arm. He um, rose. Try to 16 that blue. We're probably only about four minutes out. Still on the scene, Rogers' sister begins crying hysterically before telling another family member she's been shot. We know who did this? Was, did they leave? A female took the kids? Hey, my man, you got to get on the other side of the table. Get on the other side of the table. Somebody will tell me what happened. I'll tell you in a second. Calm down. Let talk to you. Let us talk to you first. Calm down, brother. What happened to her? She was shot. What do you mean she was shot? Hold on a second. Let her explain. Let her explain. She got to explain it to you, man. Hey, yo, yo. look. I get it. That nigga ain't going for that shit right now. I get it. How you get it, nigga? Investigators realize the name Kathleen Daniels is actually an alias, and they're really searching for Angela Montgomery. When police arrive at Montgomery's home, they meet up with her mother, who tells them the babies are Angela's. Do y'all know whose babies those were? My daughter's. Who's your, what's your daughter's name? Angela. Those are Angela's babies? Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, you sure Angela didn't lose her babies? She never told you? Okay. But you think those are Angela's babies? That's what she said. Is that the first time you've seen those babies? Yes. It's at the Montgomery home where Savannah police finally rescued the twin boys several hours after they were kidnapped. Put them in the car. Oh, you got the baby? Back seat, front seat. You are absolutely good. Get a mark in up that intersection to block off your car. Your thing. Hey, babies. All right. All right. Hey, darling. Hey, darling. Somebody advised we have both babies. That's all one. Somebody advised we have both. We have both. We have both. While in the hospital, Rogers is able to identify Montgomery as the suspect. Ready for the next photo? Different photo. That's not the same girl. Huh? That, that's her? Who's that? You recognize her? Who's that? 
Say it again. Kathleen. Kathleen. The same day Montgomery is questioned by police. She oh, explained she had a miscarriage and planned to break the news to her fiance that morning. I woke up this morning okay. with plans to tell my fiance mm -hmm. that I'm not, like, that I miscarried. Okay. Who's yeah. your fiance? Dale Foster. Do I have to say the names? I'm sorry. No, no, no. we just, we just no, want to make, make sure, sure it's the same guy. The same people. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, that's when my day started. And but soon her story goes off the rails as Montgomery mentions her fraternal twin sister, Destiny. She implies Destiny may be responsible for the shooting. I swear on everything I love, I got a call. You can check my phone if you have it. Mm -hmm. It was from Destiny, and I... From who? Her name's Destiny. Destiny? Like, her name on her driver's license reads Destiny Scott 2598. She's a New York driver's license, okay. and I don't know the numbers. Okay. I got a call telling me to come to Gabby's address, okay. and I did. Okay. By you the didn't time get I coming up with there, the biggest uh -huh. lie. That's I, promise, the I just drove off. I didn't even my like I was driving my sedan this morning. Uh -huh. I saw everything that was on the thing, and I knew for a fact I'm not opposed to. I knew whose kids came into uh -huh. the house. The first time I ever saw those kids this morning was at the St. Joseph's. Uh -huh. That's where I saw them. Now, did my gut tell me that it was Gabby's kid and uh -huh. Gabby probably didn't just let this go? Uh -huh. Maybe. Honestly, Gabby was friendly. So I don't know what I thought. Uh -huh. But I didn't ask any questions. Uh -huh. And I said, what do you want me to do? Days later, investigators get a clearer picture of the attack when Rogers herself explains what led up to the shooting. She came behind me with a charger cord, foam charger cord, and wrapped it around my throat. And was trying to like choke me with it. But I had used my hands and like kind of pushed her back. Okay. And like got out from under it. And then I was running and I heard a pop. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get to the boys. But the door was closed, and I was like, I need to go get help. Mm -hmm. And then I heard another pop, and I fell. And then I got up, ran to the neighbors, yeah, the wheel did banged it. on their door. They didn't answer, so I remember running across the street, mm -hmm. falling, uh. knocking on that door. Okay. And then that's really all I can really remember. She just kept saying how she was upset because she couldn't find her phone. Uh -huh. And then she kept saying, I'm taking the boys. I'm taking the boys. And I was like, what? No, you're not. You're taking my kids. Uh -huh. She was like, they're not yours. And I was like... They are mine. Mm -hmm. Like I just was so confused. And this was before or after the this the charger? Was like during, during her okay. trying to choke me with okay. the charger cord. <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing good. you're doing fantastic. This is an uncomfortable memory. But we need all the evidence trying to get somebody to help. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't even know she had shot me. Like. Mm -hmm. I was just running to get help. Okay. Okay. And then Keep I remember me. falling onto the neighbor's doorstep. Uh -huh. And then, I you know, I see my sister running out of the house. Uh -huh. And I'm like, the boys, she took my boys. Rogers even explained she'd been friends with Montgomery for months ahead of the shooting. We've been talking for a couple months. We've actually had a couple meetups, mm -hmm. which baffled me that this even happened mm -hmm. because I never saw the signs. Like, you know, we even went to the park and had a picnic with mm -hmm. her and her baby. And that was the Thursday before the attack. Mm -hmm. But she's been in the house a couple before that? Yeah, she's come over. She dropped some stuff off for me. 
when I was pregnant with the boy mm -hmm. still in the hospital, she came and brought some stuff to the hospital mm -hmm. for me. She's just been a really good support. Mm -hmm. And it just, I just was so confused on what was going on. And in the end, first responders praise Rogers for her ability to react and protect her sons. That's some serious mama bear energy. Um, for you to be able to run, because you first you ran over to the neighbors next to you in the brick house, and then you ran across the street, uh, 13, 14, um, 12, 14, right across the street. Mm -hmm. You were able to, t now you, you've been shot three times, and you were able to tell them, it, not basically, what you told them what happened. And then you were able to tell your sister, and then your sister was able to tell us. And because of that, we could go and figure it out. And so that was... Remarkable. I'm just glad my boys are safe. I just wanted to make sure they were okay. And they are. Last month, Montgomery pleaded guilty to charges of aggravated assault and kidnapping. Her attorney also noted she's suffering from mental illness. In all, she was sentenced to 70 years. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. So, that was um, a happy ending to a sad story. Stay out of the mommy group, ladies, and don't trust these psycho bitches. And you shouldn't give people your address. And once again, I hear it's fucked up.